So what I want to do for today is show you how to make a really simple binary search tree. And we'll do that for the word sushi. So I'll just write it to the side here. And I have the alphabet here, and you'll see why this comes in handy later. So what we want to do is go through each letter of the word. So the first letter would be S, and I'll just write it in the middle here. And then you go through each letter, so the next one would be U, and see where it is in the alphabet relative to the previous letter. So our first letter is S, our next letter is U, so S is here and U is here. So since U is after S in the alphabet, we're going to draw a branch to the right of S and then put in the next letter. All right, so now we have S and then we go back to the top. So we look at S and then we say, is S before or after or the same letter as this first letter? So obviously S and S are the same letters. So if it's before or the same letter as the first letter, then you're going to put it to the left. So we're going to draw a branch to the left and put in another S. Okay, so now we have H, which is over here. So it's before S in the alphabet. So it's before this first S, so we move to the left and it's before this second S, so we move to the left again, and we put our H there. So our final letter is I, and I comes right after H. So we're going to start at the top again, and then move to the left because it's before S, and then move to the left again because it's before the second S, but it's after H. So we're going to draw a branch to the right, and then put in our I, and that's how you make a binary search tree.